what's up guys how you doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking <clears throat> a few days ago I made a video about uh, getting the Sega Genesis Mini today the video is gonna be finally about me opening the Sega Genesis Mini and later in another video we're gonna check out a few games I have to do these things kind of in random, uh, kind of at random. Uh, I have a house uh, with me and my wife, my son, his girlfriend, their baby, and another baby, or toddler. So my time to be able to do these things are very limited right now. <clears throat> but pretty soon, uh, my schedule is going to be a little more open. So... Let's just open it up and see what we got. Have not opened it yet. Haven't even messed with it. <clears throat> so it's an experience we're all going to have together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has a new smell. Okay. Looks to be packaged quite well. <clears throat> Got the power adapter plug in deal. We've got the USB, mini USB, micro USB whatever you want to call them I don't care what they're called got that right there looks to be about oh one two three maybe four feet long somewhere around the four foot mark <clears throat> and here we have the HDMI have a way to open no. oh, we'll just open it like this I don't know my own strength so we have our HDMI cord put these things here let's on do this thing if I can get my eyes to focus it is only 7 11 in the morning here and I've been up since 5 <clears throat> don't know if I'm going to get to go on a bike ride today it's still raining it rained all day yesterday and it looks like it might be doing it today uh, I'm going to say this is probably 5 feet 6 feet somewhere around that mark probably around five foot I could be off you remember whenever HDMI first came out nothing came with an HDMI, uh, HDMI cord you had to go buy it separate and then they were extremely expensive a lot of cases have the manual I'm not going to open it up you don't need it oh here we go here we go let's get these opened <clears throat> yeah let's get these out of their little baggy deal Ooh, it has been years since I've held a Sega Genesis controller. Let's see. Remove the plastic. I won't undo that right now. That's a big old controller. Seems pretty decent. 
not super lightweight. Feels like it has a little weight to it. Not bad. I'll go ahead and open the other one as well. Now, if you watched my other video uh, about my Sega Genesis Mini, uh, I believe I mentioned that uh, I didn't really have a lot of games for it. I think I only had probably maybe three or four games for it, honestly. Uh, I did get it pretty much right as it came out. Good story with that if you want to go check out that other video. Good little story. Um, so I'm interested to try out a few uh, games I haven't tried before. And also, uh, the mod community is already working on a mod for the Sega Genesis Classic Mini here. So, uh, if it's anything like uh, they've done with the Sony PlayStation Classic Mini, it's going to be pretty cool. Because uh, that thing, once you mod it, it's amazing. So, what turned out to be the worst of the mini console line is probably the best of them. It's a good little system. You ought to check it out. And modding it is super easy. I did it. And if I can do it, it's pretty easy. And this is the Queen of the Resistance. Or however that goes. I don't know how it goes. I'm not whatever that is. I'm Spanish. I don't know what it is. Too early to know. Look at that. It's like the it's like smaller than the size of a video game case back in the day. So it's pretty cool. And I did have, like I said, I did have the original, uh, the original first model of the Genesis. So this looks pretty spot on, guys. It does have a little protective deal here. Don't really need that. Ooh, shiny. There's an on and off volume that don't work. Reset. That's pretty spot on. I've got to say. Pretty spot on, guys. A little stuff, little USBs here in the front. What appears to be a light something. I don't know if that's going to be a light. And there's a light right there. Yep. Sega Genesis was a a good system. Oh, also has the little uh, cartridge slot that opens. Now you know they make the tower a power thing for it. All the little accessories that you can buy for this. I'm not going to go that route. I never had all that to begin with. Uh, so it's kind of not important to me. But uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Anyway, the Sega Genesis didn't really have quite the, the cult following of Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all that. Um, still a good system. Still good stuff. Alright. So, there you go guys. Just a little unboxing of the Sega Genesis Mini. All the good stuff. Again, it looks just like the original the controllers feel spot on to me. Like I said, it's been 30 years since I've held a Genesis controller probably. So it does come with two controllers, power adapter, the USB cable, and the uh, HDMI cable. So if I can get everything USB, HDMI, 
two controllers you're good to go guys all right well I hope to get you another video out, video out soon of me playing some games uh, it just depends on the traffic in my house so guys thanks for watching I want to send a special thanks out to all of my subscribers um, I'm I'm pleased with my channel uh, my channel growth it's growing slowly but it's growing surely and don't call me surely uh, remember I do all this for fun all this for free no monetization no ads because I enjoy doing it for myself I enjoy doing it for you um, so yeah I hope you like share comment subscribe all that good stuff and don't forget guys to get up get out get rad and do it to it even at 722 in the morning we'll see y'all later